How do you feel about getting old? I've seen a lot of people die. I've seen a lot of men and a few women who are my peers who never got to 35, who never got to 40, who never got to 45. I'm 58. Mm -hmm. And whatever drag there is to getting older, when your balls get saggier and your ass starts to droop and your hair falls out and you get eye bags that could get their own postal code, it's worth it because you're alive. Mm -hmm. And being alive is like the best fucking thing in the world because a lot of people are dead mm -hmm. in my life and I miss them all the time. Mm -hmm. So I have an obligation to deal with getting older and make the best of it that I possibly can and to, to pass on what I know. And the best thing about, for me, about the aging process are the apprentices I've picked up on the way that when I was in university, I met three people who I've been working with ever since then as their mentor at, on their writing or on their directing. That all the young people I work with, that, that giving back to the next generation, the same way that uh, Paul Thompson and Jerry Potter and, and all those, Graham, Graham Murray and all those people who gave so much to me when I was young, that cycle is really important. So for me, the, the, the most important part of aging is passing on what I've learned and what I know. And that's why I do things like this, because I think in all this verbiage, in this story somewhere, if there's one person out there who gets insight into being a writer, who gets the courage to try something, or who has a, minor, a minoritarian voice that isn't being heard, that if they can watch this and hear from me and find some empowerment in that, then that's what I'm actually here to do. That was great. That's a great place to end it. I had a couple of other things to ask, but that was wonderful. Okay. Thanks. I just wanted to say too that uh, uh, one of the things I've appreciated most about your work is that it's always ahead of the curve. It's always pushing boundaries. It's always, you know. Anything I write, I should put into a, a dresser for five years because it'll take that long before they pick up on it. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> you know, and, or just, you know, uh, uh, pull it out and say, you know, I bet you in 10 years this is what they're going to be writing about. Yeah, well, Will know? and Grace. I mean, in 1992, yeah. I was in L.A. pitching a series, a, a sitcom based on Love and Human Remains without the serial killer about a, a gay mm -hmm. guy and his straight girlfriend who used to be his girlfriend who yeah. lived together and their wacky neighbors down the hall. Maybe one of them is trans and everyone was like, are you on fucking drugs? That'll never happen. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, Next thing four you know. years later, there we go. Yeah, no, I'm going to start. Thanks, Great. guys. Thank you. Thanks so much. That was perfect.